So in this vid, we're going to be dealing with matrices. We're going to do definition and we're going to look at the three mathematical operations. Yes, I said it. Three. Matrices only has three operations. So the first thing we do, what is a matrix? Now, a matrix is just a collection of terms, numbers or symbols which are arranged in rows and columns. So we're going to have, that's a matrix. That are arranged in rows and columns. Now, there are different types of matrices. Let's start with the basics. We have row matrix. That's just a matrix that's compiled of a single row. We have a column matrix. You said it. A column matrix is a matrix which is comprised of one column. We have square matrix. Now, that's a matrix that has equal amount of rows and columns. We have a rectangular matrix. This is a matrix that has either more rows and columns or more columns than rows. We have the zero matrix. A zero matrix is just a matrix where all the elements are zero. And we have the identity matrix. Now the identity matrix is a matrix that is one, zero, Zero, one, or it's, or it's either also called the diagonal matrix. Only the diagonals has in information. All right. So what we're going to be doing today is the matrix operation. Just a little a little intro on the matrix operation. There are three matrix operations: there's addition, subtraction, and multiplication. All right. So let's say we have two matrices. Matrices are noted with capital letters. Capital letters. So let's say we have these matrices here. 6, minus 2, 0, 1. And a third matrix, let's say this is 10, 1, 4, and 5. And we ask to do a series of operations. So let's say the ask us to do A plus B. C minus B, and let's say they want something as crazy as 2A plus C. All right. So, addition of matrices. Addition of matrix matrices. Addition and subtraction follows the same principle, which just simply means that for a matrix when you're adding or subtracting we just look at the place value that numbers are and you operate them like this is the first number in the first matrix that's the first number so i add them i say six plus six i get 12. Put it down here. i get 12. second number the first row second number one plus four i get five 0 minus 2, minus 2. And 7 plus 0 is 7. So for addition and subtraction, follows the same principle, just that... Of course, instead of adding, we're going to be subtracting. Let me give this some more space. 6, 1, minus 2, and 0. So, I will do this one the long way because I didn't do the first one the long way. This will be 10, minus 6, 1, minus 1, 4, minus, minus 2. We need to be very careful with... When it comes to subtraction and five minus zero. All right, so ten minus six, we get four. One minus one, zero. Four minus minus two. Now, if you don't know your law of your signs, you know once you're multiplying and the signs are the same, your answer becomes positive. So a negative sign times a negative sign gives a positive sign. So this becomes 4 plus 2, which is 6. And last, we have 5 minus 0, 
which is five. All right, so the, we're looking now at multiplication. This is called a, we have two by a matrix. This is called a scalar multiplication. Scalar multiplication. No, don't get scared. All this is trying to say is that the number that is on the outside gets multiplied by, by everything inside the bracket. So we have two times six, two times four, two times zero, and two times seven. So two times six, 12, two times four, eight, two times zero, zero, and two times seven is 14. So this is two A. We take the values that are in A and we just double them and add C. So C is 10, one, four, and five. So remember when we add in now, we just go place value for place value. So it's to be 12 plus 10, eight, plus one, zero, plus four, and 14 plus five. So let's add you mathematicians. 12 and 10 gives me 22. Eight plus one, nine, zero plus four, four, and 14 plus nine, Sorry, 14 plus 5 is 19. Alright, so stick around. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to multiply a matrix by a matrix. Until then, peace.